Hi everyone, this is Mr. Cheng, and in this video, we're going to take a look at the logical OR in Lua. So another way to combine or connect conditional statements is using the logical OR. The logical OR returns true if either operand is true and false otherwise. So let's go ahead and complete our truth table. So again, P is our condition 1 and Q is our condition 2. And again, the rule here is that if either P or Q is true, then the entire expression will be true. So in the first line, we've got true or true. And so true or true is also going to be true. In the second line, we've got true or false. So again, one of them is true, so then the entire expression is true. In the third line, we've got false or true. Again, we've got one true there, so then therefore this is also true. And in the fourth line, we've got false and false. And this is the only time that the or is false because the, both of the operands are false. All right, just like the and, Lua also uses short circuit evaluation when evaluating the or. So again, per our truth table, if Lua sees the key as true, then it knows that the entire expression will also be true. Now let's go ahead and replicate this code inside of Roblox Studio. So let's go ahead and type out example four here. So we've got example four, we've got print example four, and again, we're going to replicate this. So we've got true or true. And then we've got two string, we've got true or true. And I'm gonna replicate that out there using my keyboard shortcuts. So we've got true or false, false or true, and then we've got false or false. Again, here we've got false, we've got false here, and we've got false here, and also false over here. Let's go ahead and test this out make sure it works the way that we expect it to work. So when we click on play, we've now got true or true is true, true or false is true, false or true is true. And lastly, we have false or false is also false. And Studio threw me a whole bunch of error messages, but that's okay. Let's just try this one more time. We've got, again, false or false, True or true is true, true or false is true, false or true is true, and also false or false is also false. All right, now let's take a look at another example. So let's try the logical or with two variables. So if A or B is less than zero, either A or B are negative numbers. So let's go ahead and try that out in Roblox Studio. So again, I'm going to comment out this code here. And I'm going to say example five. And let's create some random numbers to make it interesting. So I've got negative 10 to 10. I've got local b equal minus 10 to 10 again. And here we've got if a less than zero or B less than zero. Then we're going to print a message. We're going to say either A or B is negative. And I think I'm missing a dot dot right there. And we should have an else here. So else will print either A or B is greater than or equal to zero. I'll add a period here for my punctuation. All right, let's go ahead and run this. So again, we don't necessarily know what's going to be produced here. So we've got 
negative one and negative three. So either negative one or negative three is negative. Okay, let's try this again. Let's see what other numbers we come up with here. And we've got negative five and negative six. Again, both negative over there. Let's try this again. Let's see if we can come up with some positive numbers here. So either five or 10 is greater than or equal zero, which is our else. All right, let's take a look at another example. So if you were born in December or January, you're considered a winter baby. So let's go ahead and try that out inside of Studio. And so let's say example six, we'll say print example six, and we'll say local month equal, I'm just for argument's sake, I'm going to say December. So if month equal equal December or month equal equal January, then because you're a winter baby, you're supposed to like the winter. You are a winter baby. Else will print you are not a winter baby. All right, again, I'll be consistent with my punctuation over here. So let's go ahead and try this out. So we've got December. So it should say you're a winter baby, but let's say you're not a winter baby. Let's say you're actually a summer baby. Let's say you're born in July, which is quite a warm month, usually. So here we've got you are not winter baby. Okay. All right. Last example we're going to take a look at is if you are 65 years or older, you receive a senior discount. So let's go ahead and try that out inside of Roblox Studio. Let me comment out this code over here. And we've got example seven. We've got prints. Example seven, and let's say, let's just say, for example, that I'm, let's try different values here. Let's say local age equal 16. So we've got if age greater than or equal to 65 or age less than or equal to 16, then we're going to print you receive a senior slash student discount. Else, we'll print, you do not receive a senior student discount. All right, let's test this out. So again, our value of age here is 16. Let's see what happens here. So we, we get the message, you receive a senior discount. Let's try a number between 16 and 65, just to test this out. So let's say 50. All right, and now we get the message, you do not receive a senior discount because again, the number doesn't, isn't true for either of these conditions here. And let's try for argument's sake, let's say we made it all the way to 100, maybe virtually. And we get the message, you receive a senior discount. All right, I hope that helps and I'll see you in the next video.